Where is Eren? That's the big question. Well, that's good. Thank you, Mikasa. No one? What about Eren? Is Eren nobody? Oh, yeah, all of them. All of them. The Small Blade, the Battle for Trust 3. Where is Eren? I know he's alive. Somewhere. Calling you out. Why are you sweating? This guy's freaking out. Oh my god, no! Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. I was about to say someone's got to step up. And he stepped up all right. Right up to that gun. All right, shake it off. <laughs> yeah, these people are so scared that they'd rather die than live with the fear of possibly dying. Come on, Jean. I know you got some good inside of you. I see, you're out of supplies. Yeah. I feel like this culture has this really deep distrust of each other. This whole thing makes sense because I feel like if there's any feeling among the population that other people will abandon you or other people will take advantage of you, it creates this race to the bottom where you don't want to be the one sucker that's left behind, right? If that's the culture where people don't actually value each other and they don't stand for something in common, then things devolve really quickly and rapidly. So like, why would the supply team risk themselves if they feel like other people won't have their backs, you know? Most of it is just the fear of the Titans, right? But I think some of it is that they're not unified. They don't have a, a common culture or purpose. Connie, man, he's really, he's brave. Yeah, Connie was sort of like introduced as kind of a slacker, but he's taking charge. Yeah, it makes sense. It's nice to see some people trying to take charge, though. Oh no. His face. Damn, man. There you go. Stop. 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 That's probably true, but it doesn't help anything. Yeah, that's a great question. What are you dying for? I imagine it would be a really difficult question to answer if you feel like other people don't have your back, or if society is terrible or something like that. I love the few individuals that are actually trying to do something about it, you know? Like, I'm pretty sure they're all on the same page about the likelihood of their deaths, right? Like, nobody's being delusional. But I think given that assumption, it's more inspiring to see people actually take action and try to fix things, or make small improvements, or get supplies, or something like that, rather than cowering in fear. Not that I'm judging the people who are cowering in fear. Like I said, I would probably be one of those people, to be honest. But it's what you want to see. Oh no. I wonder if this will drive Mikasa outside by herself. <laughs> Mikasa is me right now. Where is Eren? Wow. まるこ。本部に群がる巨人を排除すれば。でも、いくらお前がいても。Even I guess that's what they need to hear. What is this reverse psychology? That's the law of nature that she learned. Well, better go after her then. There you go, get mad. That was a brilliant psychological move by Mikasa. <laughs> Good luck. You're gonna need it. What I love about Mikasa saying all that is that 
It's not just talk. And it seems like if nobody followed her, she'd probably be fine with that anyway. I guess she gave him something to believe in. Nice. She makes it look so easy. Yeah, she's pissed. This is so cool. He's still alive, I refuse to believe. Armin? Jean! Jean! Jean choked. Jean! Jean! Damn it, Jean! You're gonna carry this for a long time. I just want them to have a victory! Just one, please. Armin? What was that? This is the second time we've seen something like this, right? She had the same reaction when she was a kid. That is some crazy survival instinct. What is the meaning of this pomegranate? There you go. What? Yeah, what happened? Why are they fighting each other? That is a Jack Titan. Look at those abs. What does the pomegranate mean? And what is happening, more importantly? Oh damn, he just destroyed that thing. Wow. Yeah, fights like a human. Yeah, but weirdly, you did them a great favor. Some of them. Some of them are dead. So this is a while ago now, but I just couldn't pause it because there was so much going on. I really like Mikasa's inner monologue because I feel like it completes something for me from a previous episode. There was the episode where both her and Armin were talking about how they've been blind to the realities of nature all this time and that it's really cruel. And their philosophy of life was something like the strong destroy the weak and that fighting is the only way. Mikasa did say something about how she values Eren. So that was the shining light in that whole thing. But I'm glad to see there's more to it. Like I really like how she said life is cruel and beautiful. To me, that's just a little bit more interesting. And I think there's this seduction of falling into just total nihilism and thinking that nothing matters in the world is just total cruelty and a power struggle and things like that. But no, it's all of those things. And so knowing it's all of those things, I think there is something nice about actually being honest about the cruelty of life. Like it is a thing that exists. It's sort of baked in. I think sometimes we forget that. Like we forget the natural realities of life where things are scarce and nature is not attached to any one individual, right? And terrible things can happen seemingly randomly. Like those are all facts of life. And for me, that's not the whole story. And the question is like, well, knowing that, how do you accept that openly without lying to yourself, but also striving to meet the world and find goodness in it, you know? And like become part of that goodness yourself. Like we see a lot of characters sort of struggling with what's the point of it all. And I feel like there has to be something there, and it's nice to see Mikasa actually find something that she can take some strength from. I'm still filled with confusion. I'm watching the next episode right now. <laughs> So that was another intense episode. It started off in the craziest and darkest of ways. I honestly love watching their dynamic, trying to figure this out. One thing I don't think I specifically commented on was back in episode five when they first went out beyond the walls. Thomas says something like, let's have a Titan killing contest. That was such a beautiful way to contrast their 
exuberance from graduation with the realities of the the war that they're facing against the titans and it's so compelling in a realistic way to see how different people respond to it like most people just completely are destroyed and shut down which i feel like is probably the most reasonable response but then you also see these pockets of hope right these people who actually are willing to take a stand and do their best even though they also are aware of the same risks like they're also probably convinced that they're going to die but they have a connection to something you know they have a connection to duty or to helping people or to their their friends or comrades or whatever that allows them to keep going and so that's really fun to watch and it's also fun to watch how people respond to them like it's fun to watch people respond to the people who stand up like mikasa and like reiner and surprisingly like connie it's funny because i think that's the way it works in real life too you know like sometimes the people you would most expect to cower are the ones who stand up and the people who you most expect to stand up are the ones who cower in fear. You never really know. You never really know until you're tested. And this is sort of the ultimate test for all of them. As I've said, I also really like Mikasa's inner monologue. I feel like that's something that might be explored a lot. What are they fighting for? What are their reasons for living? What are they connected to and what do they believe? It seems like this might be something that is a larger issue, not just for the individual characters, but for the entire society. It feels like they sort of lack a moral compass or anything like a cohesive set of values or a cohesive trust and love for each other, you know? They're very tiered into classes. We see there are some really villainous elements, like people who are really black and white in they're thinking about you know peasants or whatever how they're expendable i feel like it would be hard to actually have people dying for the cause if that's the way people behave themselves where it's you know dog eat dog and every man for himself but yeah i can't wait to see what's going on especially with this titan and where is Aaron? where is Aaron? he's been in there a while he's been in the stomach for a very long time. Before the video ends, I gotta give a huge, huge thank you for all the massive support on Patreon this week. The support recently has been absolutely incredible. So to all my existing patrons and also to all my new patrons, thank you for making this possible. A special shout out to those who joined the top tier on Patreon this week. Shout outs go to Joey, Joseph, Jojosen, Tiyun Slive, Alexander Juarez, Karsten Hayes, Kane Stone, Sixth Layer Vessel, Saixias, Adiwadi Amy, and Rekai. Thank you to you, thank you to all my patrons. Thanks to all of you for watching. Love you guys as always, and I'll see you next time.